Hello, hello, Stanley. Ricardo, ha, huh? good to see you back. Hello, teacher. Oh, hello, tell me. Hey, I was missing you last Saturday. What happened to you guys? Yo. <laughs> Ajá, tell me, tell me what happened to yo, you. Yo, no, yo no, yo no sé qué pasó. Se me, se me, se me desconfiguró mi horario. Ajá. Y yo vi hasta la tarde, ya cuando se había terminado, vi que los mensajes eran de que había clase el sábado. Yo vi, medio vi, los, vi que había un mensaje en el grupo, pero yo creí que era de recordatorio de que el lunes teníamos clase, no de que el sábado teníamos clase. No. Entonces, por eso yo no me conecté. Pero ahí decía sábado clase, que era hoy, es decir, el sábado lo Ajá. escribí hoy, que era para Ajá. sábado. Ajá. Pero Ajá. yo no... Solo medio abrí el mensaje y yo dije, ah, es el recordatorio para el lunes. Mm, no, no, no. And you, Ricardo, what happened to you last Saturday? I was missing you in class. No, ¿Qué buenas. ¿Qué sucedió? El sábado. Pero, la verdad, el sábado, como ese día salimos de velado, los que les comentaba la vez pasada. Sí. Y ese día yo vine tarde ya a la casa. Entonces ya no me, ya me costé a dormir y pues ya me desperté después de las clases. Ok, yeah, because I only had two students, but let's expect that some others are going to get connected today, ok? Esperemos que otros chicos se conecten más tarde, porque, Perfecto. pues sí, es necesario que estén conectados, ¿verdad? Se les hace recordatorio, está la programación, y recuerden que tuvimos un periodo, es cierto, un poquito largo, en el que no tuvimos clases así, ¿Verdad? No nos vimos, pero eh, ustedes debían seguir trabajando y les dije que teníamos que encontrarnos el sábado pasado. Sí, entonces les voy a pedir de favor que estemos más pendientes para las reuniones, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, y cuando vengan ustedes de posturno, porque así me estaba comentando eh, Emperatriz, ¿verdad? Y Carlos, que venían de posturno. Que sí se pongan bien cerquita el, el, el teléfono, ¿ok? ¿Sí? El teléfono con la, con la alarma, pues, porque no la escuchan. Ponen la alarma, me dicen, y no la escuchan. De tan cansados que están, ¿sí? Ok. Ok, now let's get started. I am glad that you are here. And I need you, I wrote in the chat that I need you guys to work on the platform, ¿ok? I need you to work on the platform and to go over the midterm test. And if it is possible to continue working until unit number four, okay? Hasta la unidad cuatro, necesito que vayan adelantando, okay? Okay, let's get started and here we go. Um, okay, I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you, okay? As every single day. And in here we have our agenda for our class number five, but right now it is loading. Okay. Here we go. Okay, the welcoming. We're going to have a feedback because I don't know if you remember what we did uh, 15 days ago. And our topic is, does it have a view, also remember, a review, a feedback, and do and does short answers, because we were working on that, where power, there is and there are, and the wrapping up of the class. So here we have the objective. And I need one of you to help me reading as every single day, the specific objective for today. Okay. Ricardo, would you like to read the specific objective? Hello, Ricardo, the microphone. Okay, yeah. help me reading, please read the specific objective. Hello. Repeat, teacher, que no, 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 es <laughs> I need you to help me reading the objectives. Necesito que me ayude que lea. Sí, con la lectura de los objetivos. The specific objective and the class objective. By the aims of this class, should we le learn vocabulary for 
talking, been talking, talking, talking. Talking about your dream house. Okay. Class objective. Class objective. To, to claim vocabulary for taking a book to dream house. Okay. Repeat after me, please, uh, Ricardo. Objective. 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 Of objective. No, objective, no, objective. Objective. Excellent. Very well. Repeat after me. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Dream house. Dream house. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now let's continue. And here we go. It is a reminder about your homeworks and evaluations. And I that is why I am in insisting and insisting on the following that you need to complete your homeworks and evaluations okay tienen que trabajarme por lo menos en hasta este viernes la unidad 4 tienen que y el midterm exam algunos ya completaron la plataforma ya lo tienen al 100% pero hay algunos otros que no entonces necesito que trabajemos eso verdad Es cierto que no nos vemos a diario, pero yo necesito que ustedes practiquen, practiquen en la plataforma lo más posible, ¿ok? So, here, you, we are over uh, our week number four. So, you need to go over sección tres and the midterm and also with uh, section four, ¿ok? I think that Carlos is logging in. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. And then here, remember, it is a reminder. Uh, this is the expectation, right? That you have your cameras on. And I'm going to call your names later on. And remember that when I call your names, you need to say presente, here I am, or here. Your full name, that's excellent, and active participation. <clears throat> Remember that we have the two chats, okay? The one via WhatsApp and the other one, which is via, via Zoom. And then, please, because when I am sharing the full screen, I don't see your faces or your names. So it is nice if you raise your hand because the platform tells me, um, such and such has raised the hand, okay? Tal persona eh, levantado la mano. And always we need respect, okay? Remember, attendance is mandatory, mandatory, guys, at least 80% of the classes, okay? It is required that you be here in class. And the work and development in the platform. Two hour classes, 60 and 60 minutes equals 120, okay? So it is expected that you need to be connected 120 minutes. Uh, work on the exercises on the platform in order to obtain your diploma, but also to be in class because attendance is mandatory as I told you before. If you have any problem because there is a situation with the with the power, with the electricity, as soon as it comes back, you need to connect. We are going to be waiting for you. If you have a problem with the internet connectivity, also we are going to be waiting for you. If that happens to me, maybe one day, please wait for me and continue working, okay? Next, okay. If you remember, we went through these readings and you were scanning the information and later on you developed this uh, reading comprehension activities, right? Related to these three paragraphs, we did it. And we were also working with the present tense. Do you, does he, does she? Let's remember class that we use do, you, do, we, do they do I do I pay attention in class? Yes, I do or no, I don't. 
does he pay attention in class? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay. And also we were using uh, WH questions in order to ask about time. What time do you get up? What time does he have lunch? When do they drive to work? Yes, Carlos? With the yesterday class, uh, who is the solution? Oh, on Saturday. I think it is going to be rescheduled, but the administration is going to let you know, okay? Eh, la clase del sábado va a ser reprogramada, parece ser, porque es, como no se unieron, solamente hubo dos participantes, entonces se va a reprogramar. Ellos les van a hacer saber cuándo, ¿verdad? Eh, parece ser que un día de semana, no sé. Ey, pero ellos, ellos nos harán saber a ustedes y a mí, porque esa es una situación administrativa. ¿De acuerdo, Carlos? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. I was about to tell you, but at the end, when more people were connected. Espero que otros más se puedan conectar, ¿verdad? Que no anden de paseo y, y hacerles saber esa situación, ¿sí? Okay, do you get up early on weekdays? What time do you go home? Um, does your mother work? How does your father get to work? When do your parents shop? Does, and here you have to build sentences considering these time expressions, okay? <clears throat> and you did it. And also here, you build the questions for these answers, right? Using the words between parentheses. We went over this and also we went over this, uh, this conversation in relation to vacations, correct? And then here also you completed this survey about lifestyle. And we went over also the completion of this uh, conversation using the simple present short um simple present short answers okay and here do you remember that we went over this does it have a view at this conversation do you remember class se recuerdan chicos hola yes teacher okay permítanme que solo le voy a compartir aquí a alguien que está pidiendo que le compartan el link. Ya, ya se lo compartí. Ah, gracias. Ya, yo también ya se lo mandé. Bye. Gracias. Perfecto. Ok. So, let's continue. And here, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? What's it like? ¿Cómo es? Ok. What's it like? ¿Cómo es? Descri Quiero que me describa la casa. ¿Cómo es? Ok. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. One of you asked me, teacher, what is Lakeview Drive? That is the address. Esa es la dirección, okay? Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. In other words, it doesn't have a view. No tiene una vista. No, no se ven los volcanes, no se ve árbol, no se ve un lago, porque le dice, it has a great view of another apartment building. Tiene una gran vista, fabulosa vista de otro edificio de apartamentos, ¿ok? So you were describing that. And here I was asking uh, the people who got connected last Saturday, right? Where would you like to live? To, to live? And I'm going to share the, the manual because it is better in the manual, I think, for you to see it here, okay? Because here we have different places, right? And where would you like to, to live? In which of the four pictures do you think that you would live better? ¿En cuál de las cuatro figuras, eh, imágenes creen ustedes que vivirían más cómodos, más confortables? Okay. In number one, in this one where you can see, um, I think it is a kind of living room, right? Or in this house with a green a front yard or in an apartment building? Where would you like to live? 
in none of them, en ninguna. Ah. In, in, in none of them, or in number one, maybe. In number three. three. Okay, okay, one, two, this one. No, this, uh, this one. Uh, actually, yes. Okay, okay, with the big uh, uh, front yard. Excellent. And if you remember, guys, we were working with this, right? With the uh, furniture. And you completed also this uh, table, yeah, this information. And we practice this conversation and we work in the platform. And then this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table and there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week. And you practice also this conversation. And also we studied this topic. There is and there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There's is the short form for there is. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. You may say there are no chairs or there aren't any. No hay sillas. No hay ninguna silla. Any. You use it only for negative, okay? And here, write each sentence in a different way. Then practice with a partner. I don't have a table in the bedroom. There's no table in the bedroom. If I say I have some chairs in the kitchen, we say there, there are, some chairs in the kitchen, porque en afirmativo, fíjense bien, utilizamos some, pero en negativo utilizamos any or no. O you may say there are chairs in the kitchen or there are some chairs in the kitchen, ¿ya? Do you remember this class? Hello? ¿Se recuerdan de este ejercicio? Yes or no, you don't. Okay, so let's no. go. Over. Okay, let's go over this exercise and uh, we are at page 47 class. Page 47. Okay, so here we have, I have some chairs in the kitchen. And then we may say, because it is plural, we don't use no, we don't use any. And then we say, there are chairs. There are, because uh, okay, we have uh, chairs. So we have, there are. There are chairs in the kitchen. What about number three? I have a stove in the kitchen. A stove means one. Stove in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Using there is or there are. What are we going to use? There are. No, because stuff is cocina, el aparato en el que cocinamos. And A, remember, means one. There is a stove in the kitchen. Hay una there estufa is. en la cocina. Sería there is. There is a stove in the kitchen. Very well. And then we have, I don't have any refrigerator. No tengo refrigerador. Usando there is or there are, ¿cuál será el que usamos? ¿Singular o plural? There is. There is. Pero como es negativo. There isn't. There isn't. Excellent. Very well. There isn't. There isn't any. Any refrigerator. No hay ninguna refri. I don't have curtains on the windows. No tengo cortinas. Then, what do we say? There are. But it is negative. The negative for there are is, miren acá, you have two choices. 
Tienen dos opciones. There aren't any curtains on the windows. Or you may say there are no curtains. Cuando usamos no, no usamos any. ¿De acuerdo? Now, I don't have any rugs on the floor. I don't have any rugs on the floor. No tengo alfombras en el piso. I don't have any rugs. Como es plural, sería there is or there are. There are. Okay, very well, but it is negative. And then we may say there, e, there are, are, there any. are, any or no. Como ya escribimos dos ejemplos con any, vamos a escribir uno con no, ¿de acuerdo? There are no rugs on the floor. Y miren, acá estamos usando las dos formas negativas. There are no, there aren't any, ¿sí? Isn't any, aren't any, con ambos, singular o plural, vamos a utilizar any. Al igual que there is no rug on the floor, si fuera una nada más, pero como acá llevamos la S, rugs, plural. Entonces decimos there are no rugs on the floor. Now, class, this is your work. Look at the picture of Linda's apartment. Say what she has and doesn't have. There's a mirror in the bedroom, but there aren't any pictures in the bedroom, okay? ¿Qué más hay acá? Vayan observando ustedes y ustedes dicen lo que hay y lo que no hay. Affirmative and negative, okay? Y acá está el ejemplo. There's a mirror in the bedroom, but there aren't any pictures in the bedroom. What else? What else can we say? ¿Qué es lo que vemos acá en, en Linda's uh, apartment? What do you see? A mirror. Ajá, sí, pero ya está. Ok, hello. Oh. Ajá. There is. There is pen. La pen. Cama. Bed. Pen. Bed. There is a bed. bed. Ok. We say there is a bed. A bed. Very well. Y luego alguien le contesta. But there, probably there, uh, we say, there isn't any, any TV. Yes, there isn't any TV. ¿Qué más observamos en, en, en la habitación? What else do you see? Hello, class. There isn't any lamp. Ah, very well. There isn't any lamp. Great. There isn't any lamp. Okay. Another one? What else do you see in her uh, bedroom? What do you see? ¿Qué más hay en la cama? There are two. Uh -huh. How do you call this in English? There are two. I don't know. Pillows. Uh, there pillow. are two pillows, dos almohadas. Okay, I'm going to try to move it. So maybe. So you see it better, okay? Now, there is a bed, there isn't any TV, there isn't any lamp, there are two pillows, yes? Now, um, what do you see in the kitchen? There are three chairs. Okay. We say in the kitchen, in the kitchen, there are 
Yeah. Uh, are three chairs. What else? What there else is do you see? No, there is no table. Oh, very well. There is no table. Excellent. What else can we see in the in the kitchen? Do you see a stop? Miran una cocina. Una estufa, pues. Yes, yes or no? Yes, yes. Ah, yes. There is a stop. There is a stop. Yes? Very well. Yes. And uh, let's see. There is no refrigerator. There is no refrigerator. Excellent. There is no refrigerator. There is no refrigerator. Excellent. And now let's go over the living room. Over here. In the living room. What do you see? There is? It is. Bookcaser. There is a bookcase. Very well. There is a bookcase. Okay. What else can we see? There is lamp. There is a lamp. There is a floor a lamp. lamp. Floor lamp. Porque es de piso, ¿verdad? There is a floor lamp. Mm -hmm. There is a floor lamp. One more thing that you see. Do you see any picture? Okay, class, do you see any picture in the living room? Picture? Cuadros? There, there is a TV. Oh, great. But, there, uh -huh. um, there are a uh, sofa. There is a TV, but there isn't, a, there is no sofa. There is no sofa, yes? No yes. sofa. Do you see pictures? Hello? On the walls, do you see pictures? En las paredes? In the living room? There is. Picture? There are two. Picture. There. Picture. Uh -huh. There are two pictures. Picture. Very well. There are two pictures. Great. Excellent. And that's it, right? Okay. Now, um, I'm going to try to move it. So you see it better here. In the living room, there is a bookcase, there is a floor lamp, there is a TV, but there is no sofa. There are two pictures, okay? Very well, congrats. Shall we continue to the next one? Yes? To the next activity, you tell me. Yes, Carlos, tell me. This is a uh, apartment. Yeah. Yes, this is an apartment. Only two pictures that they show you uh, for Linda's apartment. There are other styles of apartments, obviously, but this belongs to Linda. Okay. Any question? So you tell me when we can continue class, okay?
shall we? Not yet. Todavía no podemos continuar. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you continue working on that. May we continue with the other activity? Podemos continuar con la siguiente actividad? Yes. Okay, here we go. Now, class, it is the time for you to work, okay? My dream home. My dream home, okay? La casa de mis sueños. Imagine that money is not a problem. Country is not a problem. Location is not a problem. No tienen problema con el país. No tienen problema con la ubicación. Y no tienen problema con el dinero. Now, I would like you to picture your dream house. Me gustaría que se imaginaran la casa de sus sueños. ¿Cómo les gustaría que fuera? Here you have some choices. Cabin. A penthouse, a houseboat, a villa, a hut, or a city home, or a townhouse, okay? And then you need to answer these questions. What is your dream house, your dream home like? ¿Cómo es tu casa, la casa de tus sueños, tu hogar eh, de ensueños? Where is it? ¿Dónde está ubicado? Maybe you may say, it is... In another country, for example, it is in Germany, in England, in Canada, in the USA, in El Salvador, in Guatemala, Costa Rica, Peru, Brazil, England, Germany, Russia, I don't know. Okay, but it is in the mountains. It is near a river. It is near a lake or it is a cabin in the mountains. It is a penthouse in the city. It is a houseboat, it is a villa, or it is a city house, ¿ya? Ahí ustedes determinan dónde quieren tener su, la casa de sus sueños porque es personal. What rooms does it have? ¿Qué habitaciones tiene? Y ahí comienzan a nombrar. Uh, how many bedrooms? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bedrooms. Kitchen, mm, living room. Garden, front yard, backyard, patio, swimming pool. Ahí ustedes todo lo que quieran en su casa de sueños. That is why you have to let your mind flow. Tiene que dejar que su mente fluya, ¿ok? Uh, what things are in the rooms? ¿Y qué es lo que tienes en cada uno de los cuartos? For example, you may say, I have a... Uh, 
a large and wide living room and I have a, a big screen to watch movies. I have uh, five sofas and uh, I have uh, a mini bar probably and because it is the living room, yeah. And what else? I have air conditioning. I have some plants on it. Y comienzan a describir lo que les gustaría tener en su, en su, en su casa, en cada una de las habitaciones. Does it have a view? Yes, it has a beautiful view of a nice lake, for example. Si es que va a estar cerca del lago su casa, cerca del río en la ciudad. Si tiene o no tiene una vista panorámica bonita. Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Okay? So, you have a beginning over here. My dream house is a cabin in the forest. There is one large room, blah, 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 which is the living room. And in the living room, I have a blah, blah, blah. In the living room, in la sala, tengo esto, esto y esto. There is, there is, or I have. Okay? Comprendimos la actividad. Que van a realizar en este momento. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. We are working class exactly at page 48. Okay. Let's begin describing your dream home. And the topic is my dream home. La casa de mis sueños. And maybe you have here some vocabulary to help you. Chairs, a refrigerator, a sofa, a dresser, a rug, a coffee table, a table, cartons, and also in here, uh, page 46, you have the work power, the furniture that you can use in order to construct okay, the dream home. Let's begin. Okay. And remember that you need to say the location where. It is located. Where is it? Okay, while you are working on that, I'm going to call your name. So you uh, tell me here I am or present or present, okay? Let's see. Adelman Alexander is absent. Ana Margarita absent. Antonio de Jesus Quintanilla absent. Carlos Luis Quintanilla Aguilar absent. Cristian Wilfred. Oh, Cristian. Ok. Thank you. Quintanilla, Quintanilla. Cristian Wilfredo. Ah. Carlos Luis Quintanilla Aguilar. Yes. No, no, teacher. Aquí estoy todo el tiempo. <laughs> yes, I know. Carlos Luis Quintanilla. But Cristian Wilfredo is absent today, right? because he wrote that he wanted to, he needed to go to the, the hospital, the social secure. Okay. Carlos is always here. Um, hello. hello. Emperatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. La casa, con casa. Fatima Jamilet, absent today. Fernando Antonio, absent. Glenda. Present teacher. Wow, welcome back, Glenda. We were missing you for a few days. Jennifer Veronica is absent. Jose Francisco, absent. Juan Antonio, absent. Luis Audiel Gómez, absent. Naomi Magdalena, absent. Ricardo José, Present teacher. Here. Thank you. Stanley Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Stanley. Walter Mauricio Rauda, absent. Jasmine Elizabeth, absent. Okay. So continue working in your dream house, okay? And you may begin like this. Pueden iniciar como está acá el ejemplo, okay? And then you're going to read your paragraph, the description of your dream house. And if you have a question, you ask me, okay? 
I'm here to help you.
almost finished. Almost finished stands for casi terminan. Not yet. Okay, we are going to wait for you. Finish. Excellent. Great. 
while the others finish, we are going to start listening to your the description of your houses. Okay, so here. Okay, Mr. Quintanilla Aguilar, what is your dream home like? My dream home is in El Salvador, near of the beach. In my house, there are four bedrooms. In each bedroom, there is a bed, a pilot, a table, a mirror, and a rug. My house to have a kitchen. There is a stove, a refrigerator, a table, and a TV. There are six chairs. Uh, my house to have a living room. The, there is a big TV and a sofa. Excellent. Does your house have a garden? No. No, it doesn't. Does your house have a garage? Tampoco. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. You forgot it. Ya no, no, ya but no it cabía en la página. Aha, uh -huh. now the question. <laughs> Does it have a view? Does it have a view, Carlos? Your house. Does your house have a view? Tiene una vista panorámica? What can you see from your house? Yes, yes. Uh, uh -huh. uh, all the beach. Oh, oh your house fly. is uh, near the beach. Excellent. Very well. Great. Thank you for sharing. Someone else? ¿Quién más? I care. Okay, Glenda, go over. What is your dream home like? My dream home is a cabin in the Naranjos. There is one big kitchen, living room, one sofa, one TV, uh, two rooms, and um, garden flowers. Yes. Okay, excellent. Very well. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Tiene vista panorámica. What can we see no. from your house? No. We don't see trees. We don't see a forest. Because yes. it is in, in Los Naranjos. So, uh -huh. yes, it does. Uh -huh. Yes, it does. It has uh -huh. a beautiful garden and trees. Yes? Esa es la yes. vista. Okay, yes, great. Uh, guard, garden flower. Uh, okay, very well. Excellent. Congrats for your participation too. Another participant? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Teacher, le voy a escribir, o sea, yo me incorporé un poco tarde, no sé si estará bien, pero se lo voy a leer. Okay. My dream house in open house in the forest, the one sofa on tv there there are chairs two table one bookcase there there is one tv there are three chairs there are two mirror now the question does it have a view tiene vista panorámica qué es lo que vemos desde su casa no un kinder Oh, there is no view. Okay, thank you. There is a garden, a, a, a kindergarten. Thank you. Stanley, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Stanley, okay. tell me. Okay, my dream home is a cabin in the forest. I had uh, two floors. And uh, first floor, it's a, uh, um, I have a living room and living room I have a sofa and TV, video games, and coffee table and a rug. And in dining room, I have a table and six chairs and floor lamps. Floor lamps, okay, excellent, very well. Now and, my question, yes, continue. Okay. Yeah. A kitchen, I have a refrigerator, a stop, and table. 
and a table. Okay, yes. And okay. I want bathroom, and a bathroom, I have a, a toilet and mirror. And a shower. Uh, and a, uh, uh, yes. And a jacuzzi. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and use your imagination. Yes. Now the question is, does um, it have a view? Does it have a view? Yes, teacher. What yes, a, lar a large garden. Excellent, very well, congrats. Very well done. Now here, if you remember class, we practiced this reading last Saturday with the people who uh, joined to the class, but we are going to read again, right? In San Antonio, Texas, look at this, two special houses in the American Southwest, okay? We're going to scan the article and where is Mrs. Cisneros' house? Where is Mrs. Nelson's house? So here we go. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. Uh, the rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and color, colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros love it. Now, Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogans. These are the Hogans, okay? Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Yeah? So, class, what are you going to do right now? You are going to be transferred to the breakout rooms and you are going to read the two the two descriptions of the two different homes, okay? Different houses. And later you are going to complete this, uh, this table. Sandra Cisneros house, there is a porch with a pink floor. There are and there are. So you need to write two sentences in plural using there are and there are. For Sandra Cisneros house and Lorraine Nelson Hogan. There is A is in singular. There are and there are. Okay, so the main task right now is to practice reading in the breakout rooms. Everybody needs to read the two descriptions of these different types of houses. You may take turns. First, maybe Mr. Quintanilla reads the first uh, description, another partner the second one, and then you continue. Okay. So you don't feel so tired reading a lot in English. Is it clear the instruction? Remember, this is at page 49. Van a ser transferidos a los breakout rooms. Sí, van a tomar turnos para leer estas dos descripciones de estas diferentes casas. Luego completan esta información. Para Mrs. Sandra Cisneros House, dos oraciones de la información que está acá de lo que tiene la casa en plural and for Lorraine Nelson's three sentences one in singular and two in plural okay so now let's go to the breakout rooms please okay yeah we Ricardo usted nos leyó su dream house Ricardo Richard no Richard Oh, no, no, no podemos ser transferidos hasta conocer su dream house. Please read your dream house. 
Okay. Uh, they dream house in, in the Brazil with three bedrooms. <laughs> they have a big lamp, two, two sofas, a window facing the mon montaña, no sé cómo se. Mountain. Mon mountain. Mountain. Uh -huh. mountain. And I have a room with sofa in in a uh, TV a okay. uh, big pool. Let's come up piscina. Big pool. Big pool. Yeah, excellent. Okay. So does it have a view? No. The Only, la montaña. Oh. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. it is a nice yes. view, the mountains. What else do you need? Refreshing your view and refreshing your, you know, your life. Refrescando. Now that we are yes. in that, uh, you know, horrible weather, a lot of, uh, you know, it is very hot. A lot of heat. Okay. Go to your groups, please. And begin reading. Okay, join your groups. Go to your groups. Thank you, Imperatriz. Okay, Ricardo, we're waiting for you. Excellent. Very well. Here we go. Hello. Yes, bye. Okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house in the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican, Mexican American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house are a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings, many other houses near. Mrs. Nero's houses are great or beige. So her houses in very different. Some of her neighbors think her houses in two color but my sister love is. Yeah. Okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribe. Most people stay in hotels, view some people stay in, in, in tradition. Native American home. Kings, King Cowan. Uh, Lauren Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites his visitors to stay here always. It has three chairs to be and they flow and a uh, cold burning student miss nelson teacher here words a good Nazi american american tradition stanley are you there uh-huh stanley It's okay. Ahorita, ahorita, a ver, es que la estaba buscando aquí ya. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house in the home of Sandra Cisnero. Miss Cisnero is a Mexican American writer. She's a famous for her interesting stories. The house uh, has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms, um, the rooms are are green thing and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many 
of many other house near Mrs. Cisneros house are right or bait, white or, or bait. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Miss Cisnero loves it. Loves it. Miss Cisnero loves it. Okay, Emperatriz, now you read the other one. Okay, este, Cisnero. Mm -hmm. Okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. Este, purple house. The, this house is the home of Sandra Cisnero. My Cisnero is. I think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisnero loves it. Finished reading. Terminaron de leer los dos. No, no, solo, solo ah, ok, continue, Glenn. Ok. Ahí en San, San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. It is house in the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican, American. He, he is fam, famous for interesting stories. The house has purple, white, a pink flower, flower. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many many books and colorful and painting painting ya yeah. es que yo no lo no puedo eh, lo tengo y no lo puedo leer bien no lo veo bien porque lo tengo aquí ya no se lo voy a compartir para que lo lea desde acá okay, okay teacher okay teacher yes me voy a ausentar unos minutos, voy a ir a hacer un mandado. Ok. Ok, continue, oh. Glenda. I am with you. Ok. Uh, the room, the rooms are green, pinky, pink, and purple. Ok. There are, there are green, uh, pinky, pink, and purple. There are many, many books and colorful paint many 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 old house near misineros house are white convey here house eh, lo puede subir house is very is very different some some of her neighbor she here house is too colorful but miss Cisneros love you it okay <coughs> and the other paragraph you read it y este párrafo ya lo leyó el otro sí ya lo habíamos leído Bye. Okay. Repita después de mí. Every okay. year, every year, every, every year, many people, many people visit Arizona. Visit Arizona to learn about to learn about Native Aver American tribes. Native American tribes. Most people, most people. Stay in hotels. Stay in hotels. But some people, but some people stay in traditional, stay in traditional Native American homes. 
Navy America House. Called Hogan's. Called Howard. Lorraine Nelson. Lorraine Nelson. A teacher from Arizona. A teacher from Arizona. And invites visitors. Invite visitors. Visitor to stay in her hogan. To stay in her hogan. It has three chairs. It has three chairs. Two beds. Two beds. On the floor. On the floor. And with a burning stop. And with burning stop. Wood of burning stuff. Wood of burning stuff. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests. Mrs. Nelson teacher here. Her guest. Her guest. About. About. Native American traditions. Native American traditions. Okay. Now, Miss Glenda. Did you complete this information? Ya completó esta información. No, no la terminé. Ok. Yo se lo muestro acá y usted lo va completando ahí. Ok. El, la primera es about Sandra Cisneros House, la descripción de Sandra Cisneros. De ahí va a ir sacando la información. There is a porch with a pink floor. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. There is a porch with a pink floor. And now there are. ¿Qué es lo que hay acá? Acá, por acá está la información. There are uh, mm -hmm. many, many books. There are many books. Many books. Ah, there are many books and colorful paintings, ¿ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. There are many, many books. books. And colorful paintings. Painting. Yeah. In colorful paintings. Yeah. And the other one, there are. ¿Qué más hay ahí en plural? En la casa de Miss, uh, Mrs. Cisneros. There are. The rooms. It's about the rooms, Miss. ¿Qué dice sobre los cuartos, las habitaciones? There are There are pink, there are, there are green, there are green, pink, and, and purple rooms, yeah? La, hay habitaciones verde, rosada y morada. Así son las habitaciones. Y decimos there are green, pink, and purple rooms. ¿Ok? Sí, Glenda. Here. Mire. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. Como es plural, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos, there are green, pink, and purple rooms. Now it is your turn to write about Lorraine Nelson's Hogan. ¿Qué decimos de este Hogan? There is and there are. Okay. 
I don't listen to you, Glenda, the microphone. El micrófono lo tiene apagado. Ok. 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 Um, y, y, ¿Is teacher? Sí, pero como vamos a describir la casa, sí, ella es profesora, pero ¿qué es lo que hay en la casa de ella? There is a, there are, and there are. Una en singular y dos en plural. Ok. Um, en plural dice uh -huh. tu tu there are two beds two beds on the floor o on the floor oh very well there are two on the floor very well another one okay. um yeah, eh, um, en singular tiene um, pot, pudding, stop. Okay, uh -huh. excellent. There is a wood burning stove. Tiene cocina de leña. And then there are. Uh, también tiene. How many chairs? How many chairs? ¿Cuántas sillas tiene? Tres. There are. Tres, ah, tres, there are. Singular. There no. are. Es plural, mis, porque son tres. Ah, sí, sí, sí. There are. 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 Three chairs. Three chairs. And that's it. Ok, vaya, ahí tiene la respuesta. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Now I'm going to stop sharing with you because we need to get back to the main session room. Okay. Okay. Let's return. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Let's wait for the other partners. And let's get ready to compare our answers to the questions, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We have, there is a porch with a pink flower of on Sandra Cisneros house, yes? In number two, yeah. there are many books and colorful paintings, correct? Yes. And yes. in yes. number three, there are green, pink, and purple rooms, yeah? About yes. Lorraine Nelson's Hagan. There is a wood burning stove there are two beds on the floor. There are three chairs. Yes, yeah, that's it. Yes. And now, yes. what do you do? We're going to start working on the jobs. Here we have cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, Salesperson, okay, hold it. Someone is, alguien perdió la conexión. Ay, pero Emperatriz, Emperatriz, ¿por qué se fue a, lo, a los? Ay, permítanme. No sé qué pasó ahí. I don't know what happened there. No sé qué fue lo que pasó. 
emperatriz, ¿dónde andaba usted? Y yo esperando a los otros compañeros, Glenda y... Ay. Ok, right now we're going to start with the professions and occupations. Let's wait for Glenda. And I don't know if Mr. Quintanilla is going to join. Uh, Hello, Emperatriz. You're having problems today with the connectivity, right, Emperatriz? Okay, here we go. As I was telling you, class, yeah. Right now, yeah. we're going to start with jobs and occupations. What do you do? Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Okay. So he's a receptionist. Number one. Is this man? He's a receptionist. What about number two? What is number two? And number three. Okay, you find the numbers and you write what uh, occupation these people uh, perform, what they do. Okay, so Let's number see. one is letter K, receptionist. Number two? Nurse. Uh, Nurse but letter. which Nurse. letter? Which letter? Which letter? Which letter? Nurse. Letter H. Here, mm -hmm. we'll write letter H. Yes, letter H. What about number three? Nurse. Mm -hmm. Doctor. That, letter C. C. Yeah, this one. Because the nurse is the one that has, you know, the... the the cap, but the other one maybe is the doctor because she has the stethoscope. Yeah, yeah so it is letter uh, D. No, doctor letter C. C. Letter C. Okay, very well. And what about number four? What uh, What do they do? Tell me number four. Pilot. 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 It's letter. I, 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 letter I, very well, letter I. Number five. Flight attendant. Flight attendant, letter? D. D. Letter D, very well, it is letter D. And then we have number six. Okay, oh, number six. Letter, letter Music. G. G, musician. Music. Music. Musician. Yeah. And number seven? Singer. Letter. Letter. M. Letter N. Okay. Well. Mm. Let's move it. Uh, what about number eight? Number eight? Letter. E? Letter E, very okay. well, judge. Judge. Yeah. Uh, what about number nine? What does he do? Number nine, this one. What is said? Police officer, letter J. 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 And what about number 10? Number 10? Liar, which letter? Liar, F. Letter F. F, very well. <laughs> then number 11. Number 11, look at this picture. Uh -huh. what, what does he do? B. Cook, chef. Letter B, cook or, and chef, let's see. Oh, yes, it is letter B. Excellent. What about number 12? Number 12. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay, listen. We have waiter for a boy. 
waitress for a girl for a woman so Be which one waiter yeah. or waitress when you look at the waiter. picture number 12 waiter waiter for the boy it is letter p waitress letter p waiter waiter letter waiter. O. o waiter is letter o for the boy and number 13 for the girl waiter waitress letter waiter. p Waitress, letter P. Uh, what about number 14? Let's see, number 14. Mm -hmm. Which one? Salesperson. 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 Letter I. Letter I. I. Letter L. 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 Person, letter L. And what about 15? 15. Cashier. Cashier. The letter is, which is the letter? Letter A. Letter A. Let's verify. Yes, cashier. And the last one, security. 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 And that is letter M. 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 Security guard. Okay, very well. Now I'm going to tell you, and you tell me the professions. Okay, number one, what does he do? What does he do? Reception. He's a receptionist, similar to this one. He's a receptionist, okay? What's number two? Nurse. Uh, I said a doctor. No, I said a doctor. Listen, escuchen. Mm -hmm. Tienen que usar esta expresión. Si es caballero, he's a, y mencionan la profesión. Si es okay. mujer, she's a. Okay, vaya. Acá ustedes quieren que hagamos el cambio. See? Yes, yes. Uh, so here it should be letter C, right? And here letter nurse, letter G. Okay. Letter That's it. H now, H. Ah, H. Ah, H. Okay. H. H. Thank you for telling me letter H. Great. Now, class, let's begin. Number one, what does he do? He is, is re reception. No, reception, no, porque reception is reception. Receptionist. He is a receptionist. Excellent. Very well. What about number two? What does she do? She is a, is a chef. A doctor. She's a doctor. What about number three? Okay. What does she, she do? She is a nurse. She's a nurse. Number four. What does he do? He is a pilot. Oh, he is a pilot. Pilot. He's a pilot. Number five, what does she do? Number five, what does she do? She is a flight attendant. Flight attendant. Letter and number six, what does he do? He is a musician. 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 Number seven, what does she do? She is, she, is a a singer. 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 she is a singer. Number eight, what does she do? She, she is, she a, is a, 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 judge. a judge. 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 Number judge. nine, what does he do? He is a quiz. 
Police ah, officer. Police officer. Police officer. Police officer. Police. Police officer. Officer. Number 10. What does he do? He, he is a lawyer. Is a lawyer. Excellent. He is a lawyer. Number 11. What does he do? He is a, he is a chef. He is cook a cool cook chef. chef. He is a cook. He is a chef. No problem. Number 12. What does he, he do? He is, he is a waiter. 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 What does she do? She is a waitress. 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 Number 14. What does he do? He is a attendant. Seller person. A salesperson. And here. What does she do? She is he a, a cashier. Cashier, cashier. cashier. She is a cashier. What does he do? He is a security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Guard. A security guard. That is one way to ask about your job. Esa es una forma de preguntar cuál es tu trabajo, tu ocupación. What do you do? Another way could be what's your job? ¿Cuál es what's tu trabajo? Job? In uh, este caso sería, what's his job? He is a receptionist. Y vaya, vamos de la 14, 15, 16. Se la voy a preguntar de esta otra forma. What's his job? What's his job? What's his job? He's a... He is a... He is a... Salesperson. Salesperson. A Very well. What's her job? What's her job? She is a, a cashier. Cashier, sure. very well. Cashier. What's his job? What's his job? She is a security guard. Security guard, very well. Now look at this picture. 11, 12, and 13, okay? Number 12, what's his job? He is a cook. He is a, a cook. She cook. Chef. He, cook. No. Usted no puede decir cook, he chef. Is no. A chef. He is a chef, and that's oh, okay. A cook. He is a cook. He, porque es okay. el hombre. He. he is a chef. Yes, excellent. Or he is a cook, no problem. Now, okay. number 12. What's his job? What's he his... is a waiter. He's a waiter, a waiter. excellent. Waiter. What's her job? What's her job? She is a waitress. 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 Now here, waitress. number eight. What's her job? What's her job? She's a. He, he, she is a judge. Judge. Very He's well. Judge. Number nine. Judge. What's his job? What's his job? He's a, a police officer. Poli Police, no pueden decir police. Police office. Police office. Police office. Police office. Police office. Police office. Police he is a music. Musician. Musician. Excellent. Porque music es música, niño. A musician músico. Now number five, right? Ahora ya está ustedes se corrigen muy bien. I'm going to name you teacher assistant. Lo voy a nombrar asistente de la teacher. Now number five. What's her job? She is a fly attendant. 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 Flyer attendant. Flyer attendant. attendant. Now, number four, what's his job? He, he is a pilot. Excellent. Pilot. Good pilot. Job. That is the pronunciation. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. He's the pilot. 
Now, the last one here, number one, what's his job? What's his job? He's a? He's a receptionist. Receptionist. What's her job? Number two, what's her job? What's her job? She's a doctor. A doctor, very well. Number three, what's her job? She's, she's, a, new, she's a, nurse. a nurse. Very well. Good job. Now, repeat after me, please. Cashier. 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 Cook. 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 Chef. 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 Doctor. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. 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 Judge. 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 Lawyer. 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 Musician. 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 Nurse. 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 Pilot. 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 Police officer. Police, Police officer. officer. Receptionist. Receptionist. Salesperson. 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 Security guard. Security, Security guard. guard. Singer. 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 Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. 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 Very good. Excellent. Mm. Now here, who works in these places? Complete the chart with jobs from exercise one and add one more job to each list. Okay, here, from this list, you are going to work right now with this list. And here we go. For example, a doctor works in a hospital. A nurse works in a hospital too. So here, doctor in a hospital, Doctor, nurse. Y aquí van a agregar uno más que trabaja en el hospital. Awesome. Y acá, in an office. ¿Quiénes trabajan en una oficina de todos estos que hemos visto acá? Eh, y tienen que agregar hey, uno más. Tienen que agregar uno mm. más. In a store and in a hotel. ¿Ok? Let's begin. Okay. Okay, you have to complete this. Ustedes tienen esto at page 40, 51. At page 51. Mm -hmm. En lo que ustedes tienen esto acá, yo les muestro esta parte, ¿ok? For your convenience. ¿Es that ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, great. When you finish, tell me, teacher finished, ¿ok? Oficina.
teacher finish. Great. Let's wait uh, one more minute for the others, okay? And then we're going to compare. When you finish, you tell me. Excellent, Stanley. Finish it, teacher. Excellent. So here we go, class. Let's see. In a hospital, uh, works a doctor, nurse, and again, Masahara. Receptionist. Receptionist. Oh, excellent. Receptionist. Very well. In an office, lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer. security. Policy office. Police ah. office pues, eh. No, el police officer está ahí como testigo en la oficina, en el juzgado. Security, pero ellos... security, security guard. Um, sí, podría ser el security. Security. Ahí Let me check. Ya, yeah, And the other one. Sure. <clears throat> ¿Quién más trabaja en una oficina? Lawyer. El, ah, we have lawyer. Uh, but el, we. Who? El juez. Judge. Yeah, the judge. Could also. The judge. 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 Ah, uh, in a store. Sal person. Salesperson, salesperson. El cashier. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. who else? White chair. Hmm? No. Sorry. Security guard. White chair. No, porque es en una tienda. No hay meseros. El security guard. El security. Security, security guard. 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 In a hotel, <clears throat> el waiter, the chef, a uh, waiter, waiter, chef, music, la chica uh, que está cantando. <laughs> en algunos, pero si tiene que haber waitress, tiene que haber mesera okay. también. Waiter. And also security guard. Es que el security puede trabajar en varios lugares, ¿verdad? Security yes. guard. En todos los lugares, en el hospital, oh, yeah. oficina, la tienda. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay. Ah, but here is uh, the chart jobs. Okay. And in a store, who else could work? ¿Quién mm -hmm. más podría trabajar de los que están acá? Mm. No, ni Singer. no, en la, en la, en ese mm. tal vez en una hotel, en la hotel, ah, la singer, ajá, singer and musician, for the, eh, uh, musician, para, ajá, security guard, uh, it could be a musician, and also the singer, yeah, for entertainment, and in an office, lawyer, security guard, judge. Yeah. In a hospital, doctor, nurse. Ah, in an office, also a receptionist. Yes or no? Receptionist. Yes. yes. Receptionist. Yes. yes. And in a hospital, doctor, nurse, receptionist, security. Yes. Security. Security guard. Yeah. Uy. 
Okay. Teacher, in, in office, uh, el policy office uh, no entra por los policías que trabajan solo en las oficinas. Los administrativos, sí, podría Ajá. ser. Ajá, police, police officer, pero generalmente no, no son muchos, ¿verdad? La mayoría andan fuera. Police officer. Now, ask and answer who questions about jobs. Now tell me, who wears a uniform? ¿Quién usa uniforme? Who wears police a officer. Ok, las police nurse, officer, las enfermeras, nurse, police officer, nurse, flight tender, pilot. Pilot, chef, flight attendant, chef, 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 public, salesperson. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes the, self, the salesperson. And what about waiter? <clears throat> waiter? Yes. Waitress? Yes. Waitress? Yes. Uh, okay. Security? Yes. 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 Everybody in this in this pictures, yeah. The only ones that are the exception is the singer and the musician. Yeah, they don't wear. Now the next question from that list class, de esa clase. Who stands all day? ¿Quién pasa de pie todo el día? Okay. Who stands? Security? Security, security. security guard. Who else? Officer, police. Yeah. Police officer, most of the times, and the waiter, waiter and waiter. Waiter and waiter. waiters. The and chef. chef, the chef, chef yes, chef. the chef, the chef, yes. And next one, who sits all day? Who sits all day? ¿Quién están sentados todo el día? Reception. Reception, yes. Reception. Well, music. The judge. 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 No, judge, no. Judge. Musician. Pil yes. Pilot. Mm, pilot. 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 Cashier. Pilot. Cashier also. Cashier. They, hey, cashier, yes, but not at a supermarket. They are always standing up. Yes or no? Cashier sometimes. Uh huh. Sometimes because at a supermarket, no, they are not sitting. And then, okay, here, um, let's see. Who handles money? ¿Quién maneja dinero? Who handles money? Cashier. 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 Only the cashier. And Only maybe the cashier. sometimes the receptionist in this case, yeah? Y tal vez hace los cobros el recepcionista in a hospital. Yes, maybe. Yeah. And the cashier. Okay. Next one. I don't believe. Because que... uh, there is a cashier in the hospital. Ah, oh, okay. Only the cashier. Uh, who talks to people? ¿Quién habla con la gente? Con los clientes. Who talks Reception. to people? Huh? Receptionist? Reception. Who else? Who else? Cashier. Cashier. The lawyer, the person, the person, the person, lawyer, flight attendant, security, security, yes, security, yes, and the waiter, waiter, the waitress, the waitress, the waitress, and salesperson, yes, very well. Next question, guys, who works at night? ¿Quién trabaja de noche? Security guard. Security. Security. Doc, Security. Nurse. Doctor. Bowling. Doctor. Reception. Uh -huh. Receptionist. Uh, the pilot. 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 Fly attending. Uh, what about nurse and doctor? Nurse. Doctor. Nurse. Doctor. The musician and singer. Musical. Music. Musical, no. Musician. Musician, <laughs> Musician Musical. yes. Uh, singer. Chef, singer? también. Yes. And the chef. Chef. Yes. Uh, waiter. Chef. Yes. The waiter. Well, yes. Waiter. Mm -hmm. And the waitress. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. The waitress yeah. also works at night. Okay, very well. Police officer. Police officer, yes, excellent. Police Who works hard? ¿Quiénes trabajan fuerte, duro aquí? 
chef, uh, wife. Every day. All of them. All of them. Todos ellos. Yes or no? Todos yes. trabajan fuerte. Yes. All of them. All of them. Eh, who writes tickets? ¿Quién te da tiquetes? <laughs> Cashier. Cashier and? Receptionist. Receptionist. And who else? The police officer. Yes or no? The ticket. Ticket is. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Very well. And uh, here we have a conversation, a short conversation. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. This is another way. Front desk agent means receptionist, okay? Es otra forma okay. de decir recepcionista. Front okay. desk agent. How does he like it? How does he like it? Le gusta, ¿qué le parece? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Es el que no le agrada al hermano. Miren qué casualidad. What a coincidence, okay? So here we have Rachel and Angela. Please repeat after me, class. Where does your brother work? Where, Where does, does your brother, brother, work? Your brother, brother work? work? In a hotel. In a hotel. In a hotel. 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 Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, my brother works in a hotel, too. My, my brother, brother works in a hotel, too. hotel too. He's a front desk agent. He's, He's a front a desk agent. 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 Okay. agent. 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 Yeah. How does he like it? How, How does, does he, he like, like it? Like it? Not very much. No, not very not much. much. He doesn't like the manager. He, he doesn't, doesn't like, like, the, like the, manager. The, the manager. That's too bad. That's, That's too, bad. too bad. bad. What hotel does he work for? What, what hotel, hotel does he work for? The plaza. The plaza. The plaza. The plaza. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. funny. My brother works there too. My, My brother, brother works too. Oh, that's interesting. That oh, interesting. That's that interesting. Do. What does he do? What, what does, does he do? He do? do? Actually, do? he's the manager. Actually, Actually he's, he's the, the manager. manager. En realidad, él es el manager. Como que dice que no le cae bien a tu hermano. Okay, now here I'm going to ask Ricardo. You begin the conversation and Glenda, you continue, okay? Begin, okay. Ricardo. Okay, okay. Where does your brother go? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother go in hotel too. He's a front desk agent. 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 How the how does how does he like it? No, very much. He does like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel do do he work for? They are plus. That's funny, my brother, my brother for there too. How does interesting? Inter, no, interesting. 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 What does he do? Actuality, he's Actuality. a manager. Actuality, he's the manager. Actually, shh. Actually, actually. Actually, actually. actually. <clears throat> He's the manager. Very well. Now, Emperatriz, you begin and Stanley, you continue. Okay. 
Where does you from work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in hotel too. He's a Florida's agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He does like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus? That's funny. My brother my brother worked there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he said he's the manager. Okay. Okay, very well. Okay, so um Carlos, I don't know if Carlos came back or if he Yes, yes. Okay, Carlos. I'm here. Now you're going to practice with uh, Ricardo, okay? So you okay. begin the conversation, Stanley, and Ricardo continues. Okay. Begin, Carlos. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a from this agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. What's too bad? What hotel does he go for? The plaza. What's funny? My brother go there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, she the manager. Thank you. Okay, class, repeat after me. Where does your brother work? Where does Where you, do you work? Brother Where does your brother work? Brother work? work? In a hotel. In, In a, a hotel. hotel. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? really? My brother works in a hotel, too. My, My brother, brother works in a hotel, too. too. He's a front desk agent. He's, He's a, a front desk agent. How does he like it? How, How does, does he like, he like it? it? Not very much. Not very Not much. Very Not much. very much. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't like, like, the like the manager. manager. That's too bad. That's, That's too bad. bad. What hotel does he work for? That's what hotel does he work for? The plaza. The, the plaza. plaza. That's funny. That's funny. That's That's funny. 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 My brother works there too. My, My brother, brother works there, there too. 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 Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh that's that interesting. interesting. What does he do? What, what, what does, does he, do? he do? Actually, actually, actually he's the manager. He's, he's the, the manager. manager. He's the manager. Okay, now listen. Carlos, what company do you work for? In Surang and Salvador Textiles. Okay, excellent. Now I ask the rest of the class. Class, what does Carlos um, do? What does Carlos do? ¿De qué trabaja Carlos? What does Carlos do? Textiles. Sí, pero ¿qué es lo que él hace? Su puesto de ocupación. Manten, manten. ¿Eh? Supervisor or, or manenas? Manenas supervisor. Something like that. Okay. And now I ask you, uh, let me see. Uh, only those two one. Okay. Okay, very well. Now I ask you, Carlos, how do you like it? Te agrada su trabajo. Yes, yes, I, I do. Like yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I like it. How do you like it? I like it. Okay, very much. 
So we're going to stop here, class, because of the time. But let me tell you that I need you in class according to the to the program. It is going to be on the ten on the third, not this coming weekend. Because, but I don't know if you're they are going to to program again the class that you didn't attend last Saturday. No sé si van a programar la clase a la que no asistieron el sábado pasado para el sábado primero o el domingo dos o qué día ellos nos avisarán. Pero por de pronto les digo, nuestra próxima clase es el día 3, de acuerdo a la programación que tenemos, ¿sí? So I okay. need you to continue working very okay, hard teacher. in the platform. Por ejemplo, Carlos Quintanilla ya me terminó todo, pero los demás están pendientes, ¿verdad? Necesito que estén ahí activos, que trabajen lo más posible hasta la unidad 4 y el examen de midterm, ¿ok? Por lo menos. ¿Está that ok? Yes? Ok. Ok, thank you for joining. Have a great evening and see you next class. Bye bye. God bless you. Bye Take bye. care. Bye. 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 bye bye. See you next class. Bye bye. See you.